Hello, welcome to this episode. I'm Saskia Bildman from the Netherlands. Today, episode 17, appearance panel. In the appearance panel, there are several things you can do. One of the neat tips and tricks is working with the stroke. In another episode, I talked about the stroke and the fill, just the basics. In this episode, I'm going to show you some neat tricks you can use with the stroke. I will also show you some other options, but the main thing is how you can, I won't say it yet, but something with strokes. So let's get started. Welcome to this episode, Appearance. Let's open the appearance panel first. If you go to window, appearance. So I make it a little bit smaller so we have more room. Yeah, put it here. Okay, there is a lot to tell about appearance. So I will just make a beginning with some basic stuff. And if you want to learn more, just let me know. Okay, first of all, I will make uh, just a simple shape. I mostly make rectangles, so this time I will make a square or an ellipse. I'll make a square. Okay, my square is black now. And you can see that also over here, your fill is black. And I have no stroke. So if I, if I want to make a stroke, I just click on this icon and then I get the option uh, where my swatches are shown and I can tell it to make a, well let's make it red so we can see it really good. I will boost it up a little so we can see it. Okay so now I have a red stroke from 10 pixels. I have a black fill. You can add a stroke or a fill. So if I want to add a stroke, add new stroke. You see I get a second stroke. It's already red, it copied that from the previous one. I will make it blue. Now, because it's on top of the red one, it's up, it's showing the blue one. Now it's showing the red one. So I need to do something is if I want to see them both. So if, if I make this one smaller, like five, you can see what's happening. I will boost this up a little for you. Not too much. <laughs> now you can see I have a blue line in the middle and the red line is on the outside. So it's on the outside on both sides because it's um, in the middle. In the episode about stroke and fill I showed you if you click this dotted uh, line, this word stroke, you get this panel. You have more options so I've selected my stroke now if I tell it to align it inside you see it shifts it's now inside and because I have made them exactly 5 and 10 you won't see the red one anymore if the red one would be 12 I will show you I told it to go inside I'll show you the outside see I'll put it back to inside just click anywhere if I make this one 12 you see it will, it will pop under the blue one it will come out of here so you must be very careful with the pixel size of your stroke and the setting of where to align the stroke so now i aligned the blue one on the inside and the red one is still on the center because the blue one is five pixels and the red one is 12 uh, 15 sorry i'll make it 60 that's a little bit easier so on the inside i have five pixels blue and total of eight pixels red so three pixels is sticking out so but you see you can make some interesting art this way i select it again and the red one i can say to put it outside so now it's on the other side of the stroke of the path I should say 
and the blue one is on the inside. But adding more strokes and playing with those sizes and the place where to align them, you can make some interesting um, uh, art in the strokes. You can see I shifted from out to inner. It didn't do anything because I didn't select it. So I need to select the path. And now if I click the stroke, I will go to inner. You see it's going inside. Center, it will overlap again. So, um, you can add multiple strokes. I'm not sure if there is a maximum, but you can add more strokes. So if I will make uh, a yellow one, and I'll make this quite big, so we can see it. Oh, I think I've got to select again. Yeah, sorry. I will pull it down. Yellow. And I'll make this one uh, 30. So you can see, because it's from the center, it's coming out on the inside and on the outside. If I make it smaller, it will go on both thi sides smaller. So if I just want to see it on the inside, I go to inner alignment and I can make it as big and small as I want. It's like this. So this is quite a nice feature to make some interesting borders without making what we used to do was making uh, five circles, make them all another size, another color, and then stack them on each other to make this kind of art. But now you have the option to just add strokes to one object. So because this is just one circle, it's just one object. Okay. Um, one last thing I want to show you, I talked about it in the beginning already with the fill that you can make the opacity uh, different for each item. So for example, I can make the yellow one 20%. You can, uh, I'll make it a little bit higher so you can still see it. 40. You can see here it's yellow. Now it's a kind of a greenish color. Okay, so I go to the red one and I want this one to be quite soft, maybe 20. Yeah. And the blue one I want to be quite hard, 80. Or maybe a little bit less, still 50. Yeah. Well, it's not quite nice, it's not beautiful or whatever, but it shows you what you can do and that you even uh, can, um, those strokes, you can all give them a, a different transparency for opacity. So the sky is the limit um, with this kind of uh, options. So I would say make some beautiful art, tag me in your art and I'll leave, you, leave a comment on your artwork. And if you want to know more, or if you have a suggestion or a question, just let me know in the comments and I will get back to you. Thank you for watching again. Bye.